Okay. Hello users of YouTube and welcome to yet a new video and today's video is going to be a different one. Today begins episode one of Daniel Sauter's. A new video segment show thing on DVA, etc. Basically, the whole point of Daniel Sauter's is I'm going to solder a circuit together. I'm gonna to first go through the idea of what I'm soldering and where I got it from and how much you can get it for. And then I'm gonna move on to building it. Um, and I'm gonna build it in video log. So like in Star Trek, you got your start, like your um, your logs, your uh, why can I think of it? I watch that show all the time. Uh, DS9, for example. You know how you have your spaceship logs or captain's logs? Well, in this case, it's the commander's logs because he's the commander. Cisco is the commander of the uh, DS9. Anyway, so basically, I'm gonna record it in that scenario. So basically, I'm gonna solder. I'm gonna kind of make a video right now, and then be like, oh, I have to do this. And then I'll make a video in a couple, and then another video, I'm like, oh, I just got this soldered, now I'm going to get this assembled. It's going to be a little quick, I think. And then um, once I'm done, I'll just go ahead and um, show it working, plug in the battery and whatever. So right here, yeah, that's basically how it's going to work. So I got my soldering iron heating up there with a sponge pad. Um, soldering iron is about more about 10 years old or more I got it from my dad because my soldering iron that I originally used to build this Altair completely exploded when I was assembling this calculator together it exploded landed on the ground now the soldering iron that came in this kit right here well that just died after a day it, it was kinda sad so I inherited my father's because he doesn't solder at all uh, this one's the best um, for the battery here, I'm going to be using a, um, a Berkey and Jensen BJ's 9 volt battery. We do have a BJ store nearby, so. And we're on, I'm, I'm also using my favorite solder, which is, um, Quick Draw co Rosin Core Solder. It is 60% tin, 40% lead. Uh, it's a uh, 0.05 inches in diameter. Um, and yeah, there's the codes. Just keep out of reach of children. I am 15, so I don't know what that makes me. Anyway, so this is my favorite kind of solder. This is the same solder I've used to assemble my Altair. Let me go ahead and pull out the solder here right now. There we go. So I got my solder, and I got some desoldering wick. It's generic. Oh. It's uh, desoldering wire. I think it's generic. I got it from Yelicano on um, e Amazon. Uh, I don't know if I'm using it right, but it, it does the job. Sort of. So here's what we're going to be soldering together. This is another Velamin kit. This is the spinning LED wheel. It comes with 10 LEDs. Uh, soldering required difficulty is 1. Uh, this is the MK152. Um, so it's included. No, it just says, um, it's okay, Ma manual's inside. I'll show you where the manual is. So here's the specs in English. Featured, 10 LED spinning wheel. Push the button to start spinning action. Speed gradually decreases. Finally, it stops and one LED remains lit. Auto power off, low power consumption. Specs, 9 volt battery not included. Dimensions, 064 by 33 millimeters and 0 0.26. 0, 2.6 by 1.3 inches. So it's, it's very tiny. I believe that refers to the diameter because it's a circle. So 
I guess that's what it refers to. I have no idea. All right, so anyway, yep, this is the kit, and we're just going to go ahead and quickly unbox it here. I got this um, from Amazon for about eight bucks. A link will be provided below, of course. So here is the manual. I believe the manual is inside this little card. So it just goes through the basics, how to properly solder. This is more of a kids-friendly version. Uh, it tells you how to do all the stuff. I typically like to follow the manuals. There's a guy with the money. I don't know that. Well, that's there. And there's a diagram. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the diagram now. Just going to take a look at that. Of course, I'll be uploading a picture of the diagram, so you won't be seeing the paper diagram. But anyway, yep, we will be using this. Here's the P. Uh, there's the soldering board. Very simple. A 9 volt battery pack. All the stuff I need in a little baggie, including the a, um, a trans um, IC sockets and the ICs themselves. Let's go and take a quick look at it. We're dealing with here. We're dealing with an STHCF4017BE. Yep. Um, and this other one by Texas Instruments, which is a 39DDE2KE4. Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't know much about ICs. Of I'll put up the. Um, I'll put up a link for these. Not the IC specifically, but. Um, a higher quality picture. So anyway, yep, we got IC circuit board, bag of uh, parts, nine volt battery holder. All right, so I think my iron is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video and get situated, and I will begin. Solderer's log, start date uh, today of December. No, no. Uh, uh, okay. Anyway, um, I'm about ready to begin installing this. I'm now going to begin inserting the transistors here, resistors here. I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Stop the video, put in the trans and the resistors into this little circuit board guy. Alright, I got one of the resistors soldered in place here. This is resistor uh, 1470K, which is yellow, purple, yellow. Here on my resistor diagram. And they don't refer to the gold band at the end, so that's a little frustrating. So, yep, it's in there. Alright, I'm going to continue soldering the rest. I'm going to get out to about maybe... Um, resistor 5 and I'll come back with you guys in a moment. By all means people, these this video I'm doing and all the videos that might come before it, these are not soldering tutorials. I'm not a pro solderer, yet I do know how to make a nice solder joints. These little uh, Hershey Kisses, they're not really Hershey Kisses but they're bubbles sort of. And eh, yeah, they're okay. Anyway, I'm not the best solder in the world, so please don't. Uh, these are not tutorials. This is just meant like so, like like instead of you guys watching like a vi a guy play a video game, your guys are watching me uh, put this board together instead. So that's pretty much the whole point of this video. Um, so yeah, those are for people who are interested in watching this kind of stuff. So yep. Anyway, I got the five resistors soldered. Soldered. I still need to get the last two, and then I'll check back with you guys in a moment with that. Alrighty guys, I just got resistor 6 and 7 soldered. Um, yep, so I got all the resistors. Next I'm going to go ahead and trim off these, um, uh, what do you call these, these, uh, so these leads to the resistors. And before I do, I want to point out something. Um, this kit, the resistors, they don't feel very high quality. I mean like, the solder joint, the, these, um, these leads. Uh, they just feel really thin than compared to the uh, uh, the MP3 player kits resistors. So this might be an old model because it's not as uh, well as as high quality as it. The box is not the same looking as the MP3 player. Well, I'm just saying it's just observations I'm making. Anyway, I'm gonna and stop the video right now and clip off clip off these streams. I'll re I'll join back with you guys soldering the diodes in. Alrighty, I trimmed off the leads, nice and clean. All right, now we're going to work on the diode. All right, I got that resistor or uh, diode soldered in. Anyway, guys, I just want to let you know this now. Um, when you want to do one of these soldering kits and you know you're going to have leads like this and you're trimming them, I recommend every time you clip one off, please close your eyes. Um, I will say this because you they're going to fly everywhere when you clip them, unless you decide to cover your hand while you clip them. Um, I have these I got for like six bucks at Micro Center. It's really cheap. 
Um, uh, these are just safety goggles. They get they get um, when you when uh, when I'm really sweaty and hot, they get really uh, fogged up easily. Uh, well, it can be like that. But I mean, like I mean, just just be careful when you guys um, clip these off. You only get two eyes, and quite honestly, you can't drive without the other eye. So if you're missing an eye, you don't I don't think you'll be able to drive. So I just advise that. Please just just yeah, be careful. Anyway, guys, yep, I got that diode soldered on. Let's proceed to step three. We've got to solder in the four resistor. Uh, there's only one resistor. Capacitor, not resistor. There's four in the diagram, though. And I believe there is more than one capacitor here. We got one little ceramic, electrolytic, and another electrolytic. We got four capacit three, three. Um, does it say it'll be mounted? Yeah, it does. Uh, so. These capacitors are just referred to capacitors. Those are the ceramic caps, but here's the electrolytics. So these ones you have to watch out for the polarity, as these don't count. All right. So anyway, I got one 10 nano farad uh, capacitor. So we've got to solder that in, and I'll brb. The uh, ceramic capacitor is in. Check off. Now we got to put in the IC sockets. I know I heard some people say it's when you put these sockets in, it's best just to pin, bend one of the corners or two, and I like to bend all four just in case. So I got the uh, socket in, I have to solder it though. So yep, I still got to get the other one in, so check back with you guys after I solder these both in. Okay, one socket soldered. Alrighty, that last socket was a feisty one, I got it in anyway. Now both sockets are soldered into place. I like it when I can put these in there, these little sockets. It's kind of neat because then you can change a chip out of them and uh, replace it if you need to instead of having to unsolder the whole thing. So that's what I like about these sockets. And they are fun to add and stuff. So, yep, got the sockets in. What's next on the list? Uh, I gotta get this button in. Alright, guys, BRB. Got that button in. When I put the button in, it was weird. I somehow made it, uh, I don't know how I did it, but. I bet the pins on it and the button got crooked when I put it in, but that button is in there, right there. So, what's next on the list here? We got the LEDs to solder. Watch the polarity. Alright, be right back. Okay guys, I put the LEDs in the slots. I'm gonna go ahead and start soldering them in. Alrighty, LEDs have been soldered. Now to trim. Alright guys, almost done. Got the LEDs soldered. What is next on our list here? Oh, we gotta solder those electrolytics now. Alrighty guys, got those caps mounted. So electrolytics aren't going anywhere. Um, yeah. When I just set those on the table, they just seemed to flip up like that. It was pretty weird and then they started spinning. Anyway, yep, uh, I think we're done soldering here. Let's check in the manual. Um, Oh yeah, except the leads for the uh, power. Uh, let's see, we still we got to put in the ICs now. But anyway, yep, got the ICs in. Check it off here. All right, got it on the table yet again. I'm really tired right now. I don't know what time it is. Um, according to my eyes, it feels like maybe 10, maybe 11. It also feels like 9. Let me check. Well, I was close. It is 9 p.m. right now, and I don't know why I'm really tired. Uh, I usually get up at about 4 a.m. for school, so maybe that's probably it. All right, so anyway, guys, let's get this video wrapped up so I can go to sleep or whatever. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Friday, so no school. Uh, all right, got to screw the battery thing in. Uh, probably will have to sew. It. Does it actually? Yeah, it's got some sort of a strain relief idea coming from here. But where do this? Where do the go in? It's the power. Oh, there's black. There's the negative connection. Where's the positive? There's red. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and get this thing strung in. Okay, I got the battery pack screwed in. It's not going anywhere. Permanently stuck. Not really. Just got to unscrew it. Anyway, I'm going to solder these little guys into their corresponding holes, and I will be done. Okay, guys, I soldered both um, leads in. Fortunately, um, since I'm really tired, I wasn't thinking right. When I screwed this thing on, I didn't realize that it would block the black connector 
or the uh, negative terminal, so I had to unscrew it again just so I can get to that negative terminal. So I'm going to re-screw it back on, and then it will be finished, I hope. Just completed the LED thingy, so we're done. We're going to power it up and see if it works here. All right, checked off the last thing. Do you have any instructions? No instructions. What does this mean? What do I do? Well, it just says to pop the battery in. What does it say the switch does? It says push button to start the spinning action. All right, well, I got my Berkey and Jensen battery right here ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and open it here. Go ahead and plug this in here, right here. Yes, all right. Let's see, here we go. All right, so there is an issue here. Um, these two LEDs are not working. Well, it works, except these LEDs, so I've got to get those working. Probably just might need some soldering. All right, guys, here's the idea. Basically, I uh, troubleshooted as best as I could. Um, tried. Uh, I, I did some uh, mapping to these LEDs. I think these LEDs may have died. Uh, I don't have any replacement ones. I used my voltmeter and checked them. I don't think they're working anymore. Um... I looked around on the internet too, so they may have just died. Um, I think, quite honestly, it's working pretty well. I mean, other than those two LEDs being dead, it works pretty nice. So I'm going to shut the lights off here, show you guys what it looks like in the dark. Wait, considering this is a good... Oh, crap, I just built my trash can. Whoops. All right, anyway, so considering this is pretty much my new... Uh, you can say this is pretty much a new... Um, knick-knack for my desk so that's exactly what it's going to be either that or my nightstand now I noticed something interesting right when my trash can flipped over if you let it sit it turns off it kind of fades off All right, so here I'm on my nightstand right now turn it on I was supposed to land on one of the dead ones. I might get some replacements in the future and we'll see if I can fix them. It's going to fade off. That's pretty neat. So basically it's uh, the capacitor discharges on that lead. All right, guys, so that was your first glimpse into the first episode of Daniel Solder. Daniel Solders, or whatever you call it. I forget what the name of it is. I'll re when I uh, edit this video together, you probably will know what it is. Anyway, so this is the first episode of Daniel Solders. Wow, that was the really worst English I've ever said. Daniel Solders, and whoa. Good night, guys. Uh, I think it's about maybe 10 already, 10, 30, I don't know, 9.45 most likely. It's close to 10. I'm going to go to bed now, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Like if you like it, dislike if you hated it. I don't know, but I think this was a mild success. I just need to replace these two LEDs on the top, uh, maybe with something different. Maybe I just got to look up the voltage and whatever. So we will see. Anyway, guys, whoa, the capacitor. E No, I thought moving the capacitor might fix it. Oh, well. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Again, see you in the next one. Have a good night. Hello, users of YouTube, and welcome to about 7 or 8 a.m. Uh, you can tell I'm tired. But anyway, <clears throat> it's all good now.